Hi, I'm Alex, and I'm from the United States. And I'm Anna from Brazil. We recently converted this cargo van into our home on wheels to drive all the way to Brazil, traveling slowly and experiencing all the countries and cultures in between. Join us this week as we fully explore Southern Utah, checking out Arches National Park, Canyonlands National Park, and all the million dollar views that come with Moab's beautiful red rocks and high desert climate. Just like that, we say goodbye to Colorado and hello to Utah. <laughs> Do you need a lift? Yeah. Come on in. First impressions of Southern Utah, what do you think? Amazing. Yeah? Yes. Really cool. I'm excited for everything we're going to see. This, yeah, this place, I think it's like a special one for me because since I've met Alex, like back in I don't know, 2018, he has talked about this place non-stop and for me, even though I've lived here, it was like a stage that I wasn't really curious about. And, and after meeting Alex, that's like really the top three places I want to visit. So, very what are excited. The other, what are the other two? In the States? Yeah. Um, places you want to visit, you said top three. I know, I was just thinking like, like in the world. Oh, in the world? Yeah. Utah? Yeah. Wow. This is the most off-road we've taken the van so far. Favorite spot of the trip so far? Favorite campsite? Uh, the last one we stayed in Colorado on the, the million dollar highway. Not the last one. Oh, the, now yellow aspens. Yeah. That was nice. Yeah. We'll see though. Maybe the stars will. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. It's a Utah though, man. Ooh. All right, so after a long time of trying to get the car level, we don't have leveling blocks. Um, <laughs> here's what we did. <laughs> I think it'll be all right. It's pretty sturdy rock here in the back. I feel like I could back up a bit, but not bad. It's a literal ramp, so it should be all right. <laughs> How is everyone on YouTube today? Are we good? Today we're going, but you probably can't even see me. No. Oh wow, that's fun to drive with. Today we're going to Arches National Park here just outside of Moab, Utah. And uh, we're really excited. Yeah, I woke up. And it is too dark. I love like driving when it's dark and now it's like uh, the sun is gonna come in a little bit but uh, I'm excited to go.
All right, so we are going to the Devil's Garden area in Arches National Park. This is a fantastic national park here in Utah. I've been definitely once, I think maybe twice. I can't remember the second time so well. But we're going to do one or two days here. We're going to start today. It's about 7.30. We're going to go to the end of the park, past everything and without stopping, and do about an eight-mile loop to see, I think, seven or so arches. Um, and then on our way back today and possibly tomorrow, we'll do the rest of the little hikes and all of the more uh, sightseeing, like car stopping places. But this park is just otherworldly. It feels like you're on Mars. You ready? Yeah. Devil's Garden, first incline of the hike. Super fun. Kind of crushing it. <laughs> Give us a victory face. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. to what is it black arch and you can see one of the double o arches from behind it. and i'm gonna ask you one more time because you didn't do it right when i asked you when you see the double o arch what do you do Whoa. Whoa. to your time <laughs> We just found the coolest magnet I've ever seen in my life. And now we're gonna go get some water, get some gas, and uh, head back to our campsite for the third night in a row? Fourth. Fourth night. Fourth night in a row, it's awesome. The Ellen yeah. Land. <laughs> All right, so it's about 4.45 in the morning. We got up at four, driving under the stars. There's some road work going on right now. Um, 
The idea is to hike Delicate Arch, the most famous arch in Arches National Park, for sunrise. So getting to a spot to look at the arch before the sun comes up should be pretty spectacular. It's a relatively popular time to do this because there's lots of crowds at Arches. So fingers crossed we get an awesome day. But it looks completely clear in the sky. The stars are insane. Favorite word again. <laughs> so <laughs> we're very excited. Let's do it. All right, start of Delicate Arch. Probably can only see lights in the camera. Still pitch black, stars out. Beautiful. One and a half miles uphill. Then we wait for the sun to rise. You ready? Yeah. That's and good. this one note to my mom. My mom say. Dava, tá tudo bem aqui. Saudades. This is really cool. Can we have here? This is awesome now in the sunlight. Don't you think? Yeah. Can't do it with the left hand. <laughs> what is this? Insane in the brain. <laughs> Insane in the membrane. Uh, Insane in the brain! Garden of Eden is what it's called. Yeah. Best spot in the park, hands down. Goodbye, arches. Fun. Two full days of adventure, saw the entire park, did almost every single trail. Not bad, not bad. So today we got to the park and I opened the sliding door where I normally put my flip-flops over here. And there was just one flip-flop. I guess at four in the morning when I was shutting the door in the dark, one of them fell out. So we're coming back to our camp spot after getting a haircut, doing some things, visiting the park, it's like 4 p.m. This place is so remote, no one else has come here their whole day. And lo and behold, my flip-flops all the way from Brazil. Still Havaianas. Here. Yes, Havaianas. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. I just want to say I'm feeling very fortunate. This is our fifth night in this area and it's so cool. How's it power? It's good, the sun's coming out too. <laughs> <laughs> so in case you were curious, this is what an average morning looks like in the van. You have kitchen, <laughs> looking like a mess <laughs> our table with a hodgepodge of things on it got a bunch of stuff in the driver's seat on the floor and on the bed this is real van life <laughs> but it takes about four minutes to put away which is yeah. nice um, so today we are thinking of going to Canyonlands National Park um, it was really really foggy this morning and super cool actually and we're just taking it like a slow morning let's get going <laughs> All right, leaving our home for the night. I guess our yard, rather. We're always with our home, <laughs> our backyard, and our front porch. Heading out our beautifully unpaved driveway. Lots of hazardous rocks. Here come the bumps. Whoa.
right, so we are at the Canyonlands entrance. It's noon on a Saturday. <laughs> we didn't really think too much about that, but obviously it's super crowded. It's a beautiful day. And we are stopped at a sign in front of the entrance that says, from this sign, 30 minute wait. So one of the perks of having our house with us is we're gonna make some lunch and eat lunch <laughs> while we wait for half an hour. It's perfect. And uh, there's a bunch of BLM campgrounds around here with mountain bike routes. So I'm saying this now because I need to put my mountain bike to use. Didn't take it out at once during Colorado. So Utah, we're gonna use it probably tomorrow morning, yeah? And yeah, I was telling Alex how cool it is like to have your home with you and park anywhere you want. Just if you find a cool place and you can stop like. So this part of the park is called Schaefer's Trail and takes you on a 100 mile road all the way into the heart of the park. As you can see, lots of switchbacks, off-road vehicles, mountain bikers. had a good talk with the geologist while we were viewing, what's this called again? Dome. The dome? Overlook? No, Upheaval Dome. Upheaval Dome, yeah? yeah? And how it was formed, because there's two theories. One's that a meteorite hit, and the other is that when there was the ocean here a long, long, long time ago, it deposited, like left a bunch of salt deposits, and those slowly liquefied and brought up the, the area. And she said it's definitely the ocean theory, so there you have it. Pretty Magnet <laughs> from Canyonlands, and we're about to put in our fridge. It's kind of a good spot. All right, so right outside of Canyonlands, there's tons of BLM like official camping spots, and they actually do charge. It's only like 20 bucks a night, but we're on the free camping mode, so we ended up finding a little bit more BLM land that's less crowded. Um, still amazing views, but we found the spot right before. And just like that, the storm passed in like 10 minutes, yeah. 20 minutes, and now. Alex doing some pancakes this morning. <laughs> well, like, uh, have a, um, I'm watching some notes from Drizzo to see the elections. That's how our morning is a little bit. Like, put me to work. Finally, some footage of me cooking. <laughs> and I think someone is hungry. <laughs> me, no, never. <laughs> Good morning, world. We are in the car, ready to go. It is 8:50 in the morning. Driving down some dirt roads, being the country lads that we are. And we are heading to Horse Thief area which is a BLM area with a campground and a bunch of uh, biking trails, mountain bike trails. So finally, gonna get the mountain bikes set up. First, I gotta go through and remove everything in our chaos of a garage. <laughs> so that'll be fun. Alrighty, here we go. All right, so finally back on the bike. Feels really good. Haven't been riding much since Patagonia and since when I 
did uh, my trip from Vancouver to LA. Those were two really big trips and uh, just don't feel the need to ride so much right after, but now I'm excited. It's past enough time. Gonna go to Horse Thief Trails, see where it takes me. And uh, yeah, hope I don't get lost. trick to kind of riding my bike is as you'll notice it doesn't have any suspension in the front or in the back and this is what you call like a completely rigid frame so most people on these mountain bike trails they have proper mountain bikes which means you either have front suspension to absorb all those bumps or you have full suspension front and back so the key to riding this bike which is mainly for bike packing uh, which is mainly what i've done if you want to ride it on single track you got to air down the tires a bunch so the tires just absorb as much of that as possible um, it's a bumpy ride but it's fantastic it's so much fun can't think of a more beautiful place Bicycle ride, and what did you make? Green juice. Green juice. What's in the green juice? Celery, pear, ginger, a little bit of lime, um, kale, kale, and pear. Yeah. yeah, super good. I think that's gonna end us for the week. Mambo juice isn't gonna end us, but that's gonna end the video for the week. Lots of adventure, lots of hiking, lots of seeing Moab. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.